Food and beverage directors need to set objectives and then help decide who needs to carry out the work to meet those goals. Objectives need to be set regardless of the size of the hotel and regardless of how busy you are. Food and beverage directors need to organise assigning the work to a time period regardless of whether this is a shift, a week, a season's activities. Work needs to be organised if it's to be successful. Food and beverage directors need to train and develop people. Training and developing must be a continuous activity. Hotel managers cannot remain still in this area. Training and development must be a lifelong activity. Food and beverage directors must motivate and communicate effectively. And teams must be created out of the people that you have. Ongoing high quality communications is perhaps the easiest area on which to fall behind in a busy hotel. Hotel managers must measure related to the work carried out and the objective set. Hotel managers must establish appropriate targets measure actual performance, interpret that performance, and then create improvements. Mr. Peter Drucker famously was the first person to write about the job of a manager being broken down into just five basic tasks. <laughs>